What's up everyone? Welcome to another build order video on this channel. Today with the clan of the Lynx and the Feeling Safe build order. So we're going a little bit more late game than with my last Lynx build, but uh, yeah, we're going to a new patch and a little bit of lore shuffle right there. Uh, Feeling Safe build is definitely a pretty cool thing to get right now, so let's just jump straight in if you want to see the lore tree for this build. Like always, you can check it out down below in the description. There's a link to um, northgod.club. Pretty cool website. Check it out if you haven't. Uh, quite a few cool nations about Northgard. And a uh, good site to share your lotteries with. But yeah. Jump straight in here. Hope that we get a ruin and two coasts. This is usually what really helps you out. Like two coasts is very important um the ruin is really important for the start i would say so you can get your uh, cats out as quickly as you can um you can play around that though only having one coast is a little weird because you're gonna need to go for merchants here and you're gonna have a little bit less lore than you would usually have so hmm, questionable that would be the best thing um, for now, I'm actually gonna build my house on the main tile, which I usually don't want to do, but this tile, I need to go for the iron and for the wood, if maybe not gone for this tile when I now think about it. Um, it's alright, it's alright. We're gonna build the war camp also on the main tile here. I don't know if we move. <coughs> here and we go straight for the war camp and the cat let's start clearing out this stuff around us there are two wolves over here that is a little bit of a pickle because uh we're not gonna be able to clear out four wolves one cat so we're gonna go with the cat over here clear out the two wolves here on the ruin so we can take that as soon as even possible also i sent one scout back now already because we're gonna buy the cat for 60 gold and 40 feet. Um, the 40 feet should be there as soon as we get the camp up, <coughs> more or less. And then we also need food again for uh, the tile. There we go. Cat. Pretty quickly. We also need a wood camp and not too long. Uh, right now it's just food, 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 food. Food on every side. You could also micro a lot more with the cat over here. I just want the tile as soon as I possibly can. That's why I'm taking a little bit of extra damage here. Park that cat over here, but I need to watch out that I don't lose it. But I feel like there's still enough HP on it that I instantly. Hey! We get right over here. It will now take a little while, so I feel like we're gonna get the 60 wood uh, food for the next cat pretty easily. So we're starting with the wood now. Cat will camp over here. Have villagers all to close around. Could also be going for the lower I can like I st still wait a moment until I reach the <coughs> 60 feet here. Afterwards, we even need more food to go for the hunt tile. This will definitely be food because it's the only one around us, and we could definitely. The feast is not that needed. <laughs> I guess we'll take it. Now we can definitely go for the lore. Don't want to overdo it on wood right now. I need to go for the other tiles too. Oh, uh, by the way, here we go for carrying siblings first. Uh, <laughs> uh, sibling rivalry can be really good. The food, which you can be getting with that. I'm gonna wait until we have the next cat. That would be perfect. And um, sibling rivalry really good for good food. If you need to go go for sharp eye, uh, I would wouldn't recommend to scout with this build though. Just let somebody else do it. We're also not gonna scout here. 
The great hunt can be cool to clean out stuff and still get uh, hunting trophies for that. And wild hunter, generally a pretty good lore if you want to be attacking. So that's something we m might be looking out for here. We got that. That is out. Or the wolf. Um, stop of mining efficiency here. Will help us to get our minerals a little bit quicker. <coughs> the most important thing is that we go towards shipbuilding. Because we're gonna count on sailors here. Could have already imagined at that point uh, <laughs> where we needed the coast. It's not too much of a surprise here. Healed a little bit. And just clear out the wolves over there. Go for the hunt. <coughs> As we get a little bit more wood right now. We can help our teammates out. Like you should in a team game, right? So, get the hunters up. Mm, nah, let's get the house first. Get house all too hard. I'm gonna get house at all if I do that here. And if we do it like that, then I'm just gonna get the wood cutters first. A little bit more wood production. Need to style though. You know her now. Keep building. Go for it, even though we don't have Taylor's right now. We go for great hunt now. I'll need to clear out the dogger to help my mate. And these will then also give me a few hunting trophies. Especially in team games with bigger maps, like PV3. That's a pretty good thing to go for. I feel I'm not gonna end up with enough food if I keep all the woodcutters, but I'm gonna keep them for a moment now so we can get out the hunters. It would be perfect if I don't need to pull villagers over it, but I feel like we will need to. Go with the hunters lodge. Um, with the upgrades, like we're gonna go for stone here, like more of an 8 2 build than uh, how you can imagine. Like you can also make it happen a little bit earlier, but 8 2 is usually where we're aiming for. And uh, for the 30 stone that we are more or less guaranteed, we're gonna upgrade the town hall, <coughs> a food building and a dock. And with the 15 stone that we get for Yurt's Blessing, we will upgrade Archery Masteries. Uh, actually. <laughs> uh, tracker huts are there, right? Archery ranges, sorry, sorry, sorry. We're gonna upgrade archery ranges because they're also way more cheap with our uh, archery mastery. Right? Archery mastery. Heal again. Gonna take a ball over here, but since we get free healing, much investment here okay. a little bit of food for the winter stone up i also want to get the iron fairly early let's go even harder for food now i definitely want to come over 100 before the winter cups i feel like i'm it's not gonna be the biggest problem there Yes, we're gonna go for the sailors. Get one sailor going. Just for a little bit of lore. Because we need quite a few lures. So until nimble pause. Will we think about attacking there? 
Mm, the thing is, in the moment we get nimble paws, you usually also get the iron to upgrade the trackers. So this is when the final upgrade will start before our attack. So you have this, you have this as early as possible. So you can just happen to us. Not talk now. One will on stone. That should be more if we get the chance to do it. But I also want to get the iron as early as possible because we get the ten uh, iron to upgrade our archers with Yod's blessing. The 15 iron right here are basically free. We don't need to do anything with that, so I'm just gonna get upgrades. Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. Mm. First. For the upgrades, what always comes? The iron. I don't have a good amount of food here. Go with two sailors instantly. That will... I think that were too much to be honest. A little bit. <laughs> so yeah, in this case we're gonna get sailor upgrade, woodcutter upgrade and the hunter upgrade. Like the main food, uh, woodcutters and sailors. <laughs> The thing that can differ is usually the, uh, yeah, your food could be also fishers, could also be farmers, whatever you have at that very moment. There. I feel like two sailors is a little bit too much for now. Gonna get more, obviously. Just want to have a uh, stone, iron, and wood production. I don't even need to get my war chief right now. I'll happen a little later. As soon as I can upgrade my stuff, thus, uh, yeah, get the tool upgrades faster. We're gonna get something going here. Keep going. Good like that. I don't know if two people on iron are the way to go. Check that out now. Usually I want to get it at early, as early as possible so I can get the upgrades early. I also want to get my building up. Until I get a hunter upgrade or uh, the sailor upgrade. It will still be a while anyway. Because we're first going to go with the town hall here. At least it's actually fairly helpful here. Thanks a lot. Good timing on that. Right there. Even gonna go a little bit harder on food. Uh, with so we can now also I'm gonna break down the scout camp here since we're not going to scout. A little bit more gold too, which is more important. <coughs> and build the fortune. Get ready for upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. A bit about, about that all too much uh -huh. gonna starve builds back I don't want to starve crazy I know but <laughs> it would be really nice to not starve here uh, we go for the archer mastery. Bit away. Actually upgrading them. Woodcutters, then we go for hunters. Raiders. Now we definitely gold. stone for the moment should be enough.
upgrade the hunter's lodge. We have all the upgrades queued here. We have also why we have the gold problem basically. But since we don't have the wood, the gold is not really a problem. Hunter's Lodge. Hunter's there. This will also be the next upgrade. So, for now, next dock. Another villager on stone would be nice. Make that happen soon. Next dock, I think, is even more important. Just to get more lore for now. Hmm. Well, if the villager is done here, I'm also gonna get them off. Yeah, gold, because I upgrade the longship dock. I want to get my war chief now. As soon as possible. It'll give me a little happiness. 50 gold. It won't be that easy to reach, but it won't be that hard either to be Let's just focus on the upgrade here. Maybe have a little bit of a happiness slump. Not too bad, therefore we have a lot of tool upgrades here. Which I really like in this position, to be honest. Think about if I would just... Oh, we can't... Uh, keep on clearing here, forget a little bit about, about that. Usually you can just clear all the time with the cats. But we have AI teammates here that don't care too much about if we actually clear them or not. Attacked over there. This is a great timing. Gotta <laughs> say. Like, I were in this tile for the whole time, and the moment I run out, the wolves attack. So, they know what they're doing. Less stealing the stuff for me to be honest, but he can take it if he wants. Take him off there. Okay, we have the upgrades now. Good more wood. Straight up, build the next stop. Because it's really mostly about getting 150 gold right now. Chief, get happiness. And also, it's gonna boost our lore a little bit. Another feast would be pretty nice around this time. We can't really ask. For it. Safe, there we go. As soon as we pop the chief now. Now I'm gonna go for sibling rivalry. Because then I can park the cats on my uh, tiles and they will generate a little bit of food for me. Plus, one of the cats gets quite a bit of defense if the other one is in there. Um, yeah, Kaelin gets 40% defense while well, the same zone as Munder. Uh, quite a few unhappy people here, but that's gonna change in a second. We are on 145. Happiness. Okay. Get more sailors. Use a bunch of gold. We're basically just waiting for gold to come in. Gonna get all too fast because we only have plus 14. The dogs over here. Not super crazy. I think about adding an 
market or something, but usually that's not They're in here. <clears throat> so I could upgrade the longship dock. That's also not. I think the best thing would just be a feast. I can get to two, 230. I can't really get together right now. Quite a bit. Park of Fields. The main tile here. Because the ghosts are going to come soon. And get a little problematic. A little bit of food here. We are pretty close uh, before Nimble Pause, which means we get Yod's Blessing, which then also means we can upgrade archers. Pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Might must be saved as soon as the ghosts come. Uh, it's still a little bit of a time there. We have over a month until the ghost attack actually comes in. I guess I will already be forking then, so I hope they don't attack my main tower. Because that will delay my upgrade for a little bit. But I guess there's worse things. There should be worse things. Mm. Three at least, right? These are the three that we're gonna upgrade. And this is 75 more gold. Not gonna have minus the 50 for the upgrade. We definitely still need a little bit of gold here. I don't have a single one finished yet, I realize. <laughs> I don't have any re any archery ranges. Blessing. Ah. And they're attacking me on the non-upgrade tile. Perfect, because that's not gonna delay then. Out of this, I want her to be hurt. Because the cats basically just heal for free, so we don't need a healer start as long. The grandma is not getting any damage here. needed still i think the gold is actually getting better and better as soon as we reach um reach the upgrade here we should have enough a reasonable attack going that's still getting me a good amount of food basically want to go I don't know if my wood is gonna be quicker we'll see a little bit of happiness after the house is up already have more bands, so we got up at 11. This is realistically what we can get. Mm, the door. Still go for it, like getting mill strap. Would still be pretty nice. We have like a month until the upgrade finishes. And we're basically already going. We're basically already gone.
Good. I think that we are pulling off a bunch of woodcutters. Already putting them to feed. At these running for a while at least. I have like 300 gold, which isn't a bunch. Uh, look, we have a bit of feast. Here. Could think about just getting one more feast out. We already have quite a boss reduction. Let's clear out these wolves. And we can't even reach the opponent without running straight through Dorber. Uh, giants, I mean. So much less DPS, and yet he's killing and uh, stealing every kill from me. Is uh, quite an achievement, to be honest. We'll just go up and back. Try to get eleven. That's it. I can get one. So yeah, gold could be a little bit more. So I guess generally I would try to get the dock up a little bit earlier, and it would work kind of late for me. So Eleven is usually not a problem at all. But it had also a tiny bit to do with uh, the feast's timing. They would be a little bit better. Could be a little bit more potent. I feel like we're not gonna have a chance to actually attack somebody here, do we? Yeah, there. But we don't see a lot. Mm, I guess we're just gonna attack the giants then. Be a little bit what this army can do here. Because it is fairly strong. It's fairly strong. Get cats out here. Giants, you can always kite a few of them and like go for them one after one. It's pretty helpful. Like that, you can kill a lot more with a lot less health lost. Go. And just gonna get uh, Wild Hunter here. Because Wild Hunter just getting no supply malos is just big. It's big, man. It's big. Gonna lose a cat here. Oh, oh. yikes! <laughs> there she died. Uh, I think we got the we got the drill of the build though. Like the archers are pretty versatile. They can get a good amount of damage out. Um, could also think about going for the path complete here. Making them a little bit stronger. I don't know if that already got to, to 8, it didn't. But uh, yeah, can be pretty versatile here. In general, the Lynx clan, one of the real strong clans, because you can clear out for your teammates pretty easily afterwards. Uh, the field duration, uh, the field durations build, sorry. The feeling self build gives you a little bit of happiness, a little bit of uh, comeback potential. While the gold could be better if you maybe upgrade one more of your longship docks or maybe even get free coast, that could be pretty good. 
Uh, you can't have an insane amount of sailors working though. Like upgrading three uh, docks will just straight up not work with Lynx Clan because you just don't have the eco for it. But in general, this is a pretty nice 802 build, uh, which with you can do a lot of things with. But I didn't even clue in here is if you have the possibility to just get the lure down on one tile. It can help you out. I usually don't like to be all too distracted there. But especially in games that go later, maybe until 8 or 3 or something, you can just get a lot of hunting trophies there and in the end will help you to complete your path down here a few times and make your archers even stronger. Like, uh, the number of archers is pretty important, but uh, the upgrades you have on them is even more important, in my opinion. Even more important than one. Exfros, gotta say. Yeah. With that, I would come to the end of this uh, little build here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you see, you can do quite a few uh, cool things with the Lynx clan. Of course, you can also still rush. Just go middle tree, maybe take, um, therefore, then sharp eye. So you can be the scouting one. Because they, you can do that pretty quickly in team games if you have a good map to do it. But uh, it's definitely still possible, but I'm also a big fan of this build here. Uh, has a lot of potential and you can do a lot of interesting things with it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did so, you might want to consider to leave a like on this video because it really helps out. So I would be really thankful if you would do so. Um, if you want to see more content like this, then you can also subscribe to the channel. Maybe ring the little bell right next to it. And yeah, you're going to be notified always when I upgrade upload a new video uh mostly about Northgard content right here so yeah have a try if you didn't do so now um yeah with that i hope you enjoyed this video if you did so uh you might want to come back to the next one so bye bye everyone have a great rest of the day and maybe see you back see ya <laughs>